Tonight at 9 on BBC One. Nick Griffin and Abu Hamza join Eamon Holmes for Celebrity Garden Makeover with antiques found at a car boot sale challenge. Meanwhile, on BBC Two, the Arts Review with Ronnie Corbett, Paul Gascoigne and the guy who plays Les Battersby in Coronation Street. But now on BBC One, Financial Trouble at Bud's Bar in Cobreps, Dundee. <laughs> Celebrity, have got to open the toilets. It's what the fuck's away, Denny? No, no, it's Les Dennis. Oh, who the fuck's that? Oh, I used to be a big star, but no, I won't. Oh, I'm hoping for Richard Medley. Right, I guess he'll do. Beat something, Dave Brown. Again. Worried about the bar's poor finances, Bud invites his father to his house for a chat. Aye, and uh, one time, John the Vossar's wife bought a miller instead of Budweiser. So he hit him with a large novelty frying pan and then chewed her legs off. Look, I'd be glad to have a word for you here. Just, it's just about the spending, I mean, £200 for edible underwear. I need it. What for? Look! We're gone under. We, we didn't need you to be spending all this. £50 subscription to What Magazine magazine. And £200 for a mobile phone shaped like Richard Branson. Ah. I need it. And what about this? £1,000 for a cement mixer. What are you going to use that for? Mixing cement. Alright, and then £700 for a diamond encrusted briefcase case. Hey. I'm in control here. Right. Put that on the insurance. Oh. Luke. What? Well, this Dennis is here. Oh, nice. That's no less Dennis, that's a uh, club rep you hired because it smells like grandma. Like home, come in. Sorry, mate. Club shop. Not going in. Hang on, you like that? Aye, aye. You have no deal. Oh, fucking hell! Sorry, lad. Get in. Bud is getting irritated at the lax attitude of bouncers Randy and Randy, seen here relaxing in the pub's garden. He attempts to exert his authority on them under his father's watchful eye. <laughs> what the? The oh. fuck is in here? I'm all here for the vlog. This is you, you what? I'm only working for £3 an hour, I'm fucking out of here. Oh, wait, 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 hey. £3.20 an hour. Free ferry, free ferry. 335. 335. I'm there, deal. Right, work it, back. Right, five more minutes on that. What the fuck are you still doing here? Yeah, look at this idiot. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I am. Um, I meant to tell you, by the way, uh, outside here later on, I had to put the, the bouncer's wages up to £3.35 an hour. What? I just bought a bloody electronic pooper scooper for that. What the hell? See, 35 there. This is his thing, I'm Elton John. Alright, son. Any plans for the day? Eh? Yeah. What's your moustache? Don't know. Must be Alpecia. <clears throat> That's clear. Anyway, I'm waiting on the uh, account coming. She says it's urgent. Who in the name of Daniel Smith can that be? Come in. Oh, hello there. Hello. Take a seat. Hello there. Hello there. Right. 
Hey, what's the crack? What? Uh, what's going on? Well, your financial situation is grace. If you keep spending like this, we'll be bankrupt within a week. Didn't say that in front of my dog. He had a stroke. Your dog had a stroke? Aye, right, look at him. John! Away outside and run about. See, she's away with it. Anyway, can I get you a tea and a coffee? Well, and a coffee, thanks. Uh, I was just saying that to be polite. Uh, I'm not going to make you one. Right, okay. Well, you'll need to go into voluntary administration. It's either that or close the club. No. Mr. Budson, with all respect, you are running this club into the ground. Right, calm down. Then you an orgasm, or a beard, or a menopause, or whatever you call that thing. I'm the boss here. I'm Jeffrey Budson. Before Bud Budson became the bar's manager, this man, Bruce Debussy, was in charge. After Geoffrey replaced him with his son, Bruce remained at the club, living in the cellar. So, Mr Debussy, how long have you lived down here? Three years. Two hundred and fourteen days. And why did Geoffrey Budson oust you in favour of his son as bar manager? Well, it was largely down to the failed relocation to Dublin because we couldn't find a trailer big enough for the pub. But well, why didn't you just buy a premise over in Dublin and move the business? Mr. Watson, I haven't seen you in almost four years. You sure I want you to come back as a manager. What's away for? For a week my eyes and not a mask. So I'd like you to come back. Oh, it would be an honour. Great, start the water. Actually no, start the now. You stop that! So, Boris, what do you think of the impending bankruptcy? Well, that's the worst thing that happened to the club since we, that time we played charades and Hank did the ring. Bruce Debussy! I hear you're the new manager. I know, it's great. Well, this club's facing financial ruin from the next week. Bankruptcy. Let's have a look at these records. I have not seen finances as bad as this since the Wall Street crash or the Marjorie Bank Street crash. What's the Marjorie Bank Street crash? Well, it was, it was a car crash down the bottom of the street. Alright. Quickly! Quickly! Boris is going to eat suicide! Look! It's close up there! Oh, I know, in a windowsill. Hang on, they're my place. This is a gas bill, and there's Boris out there. <laughs> 